Hello everyone, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this video I'm going to open up almost all of my Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks in a single packaging. So Mattel has lost the Monster Jam license to Spin Master who is going to um, produce these starting from 2019 but Hot Wheels has released their own new monster trucks I think they are being found in some places in the United States I don't expect these here soon in Europe because most of the time we are a little bit behind prices for these in Europe range from let's say 8 to 13 euro so that's between nine dollars and thirty cents and fifteen US dollars to compare it with the home market of Hot Wheels the original market I've bought these of course for a lower price some of these at this store that was closing down some locations so they were giving discounts between 50 and 80 percent off so I bought these for prices between 5 and 2 euros so that's between 5 US dollars and 80 cents and 2 dollars and 30 cents approximately this tiny one was one and a half year that's about one dollar and seventy five cents is the only one I have I had never seen this before these two are my oldest ones uh, they have a copyright of 2006 and the youngest ones are from 2017 so uh, these copyrights I'm not sure if these are the release dates here it says 2006 SFX Motorsports and the Mattel copyright is also 2006 but sometimes these differ uh, I usually use the copyright of the uh, Monster Jam company in this case SFX Motorsports that is most of the time the closest to the release date uh, starting from 2012 they used the production code like we know it from uh, the regular Hot Wheels cars these codes here I, can, I don't know what these are so these are also some kind of a production date probably but I cannot uh, decipher these so these are pullback Monster Jam trucks there's uh, five different ones I've got the Grave Digger which is the most common one to find I suppose Speed Demons it says official monster truck series monster jam so that's it this one up the glue has uh, gone on many of these so these open up really easily so let's see if it still works yep there it goes it works very well still so this is the first proper monster jam truck is the gunslinger it has a picture of the real truck here number five in the series it's a under covers model and these had these opening features and this is the only one I have with a metal base here on the back you have all the different ones and then you also see the different uh, series the speed demons the shocks 164 and then the undercovers you also get 143 scale 124 and then you have three kinds of crashers so this one is a little bit packaged differently than the other ones but here you can see the glue lets go easily so 
This one reveals a metal base, you get a radiator in the front, you get the seat and then you get the engine in the back. And this just clicks in there. Snap, there you go, and then you have just a regular Monster Jam truck. This one with white rims. Now the fun thing about these is you can actually steer these. If you go like this, the wheels turn like that, and you go like that, the wheels turn the other way around. So that's really fun for the kids to play with. Next one from 2009, this time a Feld Motorsports copyright. The Broker, also with a picture of the actual Monster Jam truck on the card. Here you get some different ones in the series and some uh, play sets. Next up, the Maniac, also from 2009, same packaging, sorry for the bump, then we got the Aftershock, packaging and the glue also letting go still in 2009 the blue thunder and this has a little bit better kept glue but still easy to open. These all look very similar. Uh, later on they started to, to do uh, a little bit more exciting uh, models. These are all like pickups uh, that are very similar. Some have white rims and others have the chrome rims. This one already wants to escape. Also 2009 Destroyer. Here these were called Tilt-Offs. It's the same as the other ones. As this one, the first one. That pops off. But this one, instead of that one, has a plastic base, but the rest of it is pretty much the same. Then we go to 2011. Here we have the Mechanical Mischief. So these came with a Monster Jam tattoo. You got some other models. So here you get the tattoos. And probably some instructions on how to use them. Yep. So I wanted to stack these on top of each other. Maybe I have to put them a little bit further apart. No, that's not going to work. So let's do it like this. And then also from 2011, 
we've got the bad news travels fast with the travel treads and also with the monster jam tattoo now these travel treads uh, they use to transport these trucks to put them in containers because with the uh, big wheels on they can't tr transport them the tattoos Let's see if I can click these on. So these are the travel treads. These just click on there, hopefully. Let's see. Yep, yeah, there you go. Click, click, and then you have just a regular Monster Jam truck. Then we go to 2012. So this is the first year we have the regular Hot Wheels code. So E01, that's 2012, the first week. This is the Excalibur and this comes with the Monster Jam Tops which is some kind of a, a card that shows the actual Monster Jam truck. There you go. In live action Till 2012 production date E05, so week 5 of 2012. The Stone Crusher. Still 2012, the Avenger it has a nice classic body style from 50s or 60s. Here's the card. Then the 2012 Predator. So this already differs a bit from what we have seen till now with the regular looking pickups. This has some kind of a growling animal face on it. So that's already looking a little bit more exciting. Still 2012 the Samson. Also looking a little bit different in the front than the previous ones. Samson, the strongest man alive. Just 
2012 the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. He's sticking his tongue out. Really funny. And this one, uh, the packaging already let go, or the glue already let go. So this is also a 2012. The US Air Force Air Force Afterburner. Then we go to 2013. The production code is F07. So that's the seventh week of 2013. This is the Wrecking Crew in the, in the X-Rays series. So they have kind of a see-through body. And these come with crushable cars. You can see here. This is the truck, and then here we have the crushable car. So you can kind of put these together like this. So, and then the same in the front. Click these together like that. Then you get some kind of a station wagon. And then I guess you can just run over these and then yeah okay I thought these were going to open up but it doesn't seem to yeah anyway you get the idea let's make one more yeah Then the 2013 Rap Attack, also in the X-Rays series. This time we get a saloon car, not a station wagon. Still in 2013, the crazy train in the Spectre Flames paint finish. So this has a very nice Spectre Flame paint, and also the rims have a nice ring around them, looking cool. This is, this is also the saloon car but in red this time then still 2013 we get the storm damage and this is the first one we have with the muddy tires which, which looks really cool. And here we get a white crushable car, also the saloon version. Then, still 2013, a very good looking Superman in the 
mud trucks tire treads like that one also series this time we get a station wagon crushable car in white and this looks really cool Two thousand thirteen Monster Mutt. Not to confused to be confused with the Rottweiler. Here we get a yellow crushable saloon car. Here we have the 2013 Maximum Destruction. The blue saloon car. Whoops. No, it's not going to stay. So here we have the first grave digger. Now this comes from a different store. This I bought in 2018, I think. Because these were all bought in 2017 and 2018. Uh, this has a 2013 copyright, but I think it's a 2014. Yeah, it says G here. Is the sixth week of 2014 that is and this comes with a uh, figure so here we have the dude Says Monster Jam on his helmet. And then we have a 2015 crustacean. So this is a H code, week 31, 2015. Very cool looking, although it no longer resembles a car or a truck. This will also be a difficult one to stack because of its sh shape. Then we go to 2016 it says on the copyright, it's a K, so that's 2017 because it was in the uh, year uh, that uh, Monster Jam celebrated its 25th anniversary 1992 until 2017 this is the Scooby-Doo Then this will all be 2017, I think. Yes, because it says so in the back here. The Mohawk Warrior. Then we get the NEA New Earth Authority Police. My tower is crumbling down. And we have 
the Jurassic Attack. Soldier Fortune. And this is the only one that has this in the front. The other ones don't have that. This a warning sign here. So the monster jam is a little bit moved to the left. I don't know why that is. It's the only one like that. Difficult to stack. Maybe I should do it like this. The Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. The Pirate's Curse. Funny looking thing. It's like a skull head with a, a hat. The jester also in a X-ray, X-ray livery. The, jeez, I can't read that. Yeah, the Titan, a special Titan, but I don't know what the name is here. I can't read that. With the muddy tires, that's cool. I hope this doesn't fall down before the end of the video. And then bad news travels fast. The second to last one. I was almost going to forget the last one. So in the corner, corner of my eye, let's put this one here, I think that's safer. This is the last one and this has the colored wheels, Doomsday, looks very similar to the NEA release one. But it's got a different name. Let's see, yep, so let's put this one in front of there too, I'm going to change the angle of the camera a bit, there you go, that's all of the 35 Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks that I opened in this video. I thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye!